After 42 years of service, Brigadier General Renwick L. Payne, the Adjutant General of the District of Columbia National Guard, retired from the U.S. Army National Guard. On February 11th, Payne, alongside his former commanding general, Major General Errol R. Schwartz, faced soldiers and airmen who weren't shy about discussing his caliber as a leader from the more lighthearted in tone. I'm going to mess with you call the chaplain dude. <laughs> to the more sincere and direct in nature. He had the vision of what he wanted, what he wanted to see. You always look forward to hear from leaders in terms of what they have to say, especially, especially ones who have uh, set an example for the rest of us to follow. Back on stage and in front of all guests seated on the Army Drill floor, Major General Schwartz described Brigadier General Payne as a superb human being and friend who lived the Army values over four decades within every capacity his career took him. Service and and rightfully entitled to the awards and decorations bestowed upon him. Brigadier General Payne's wife, Carmen, also received two awards, one a Certificate of Appreciation from the U.S. Army and the Outstanding Civilian Service Medal. Then to a standing crowd, Brigadier General Payne took center stage with an all-encompassing message, thanking both the people and the nation who supported the man standing at the center of it. There are a few of you here who know the time that I came from and the country that I came from. And I'm leaving that power. I'm arriving in the United States and the United States of America. But anyways, the United States of America allowed me to become a part and a citizen of the United States of America. This is a great thing. Reporting from the D.C. Armory, I'm Technical Sergeant Arthur Mondale Wright, Capitol Guardian News.